how nice it is to just to pick up things uh, without any conscious effort of keeping the fingers open and without any stress at all and uh, holding them like this. Hi, this is Efren again who is bringing you his personal uh, cures to the paralytic effects of his stroke and uh, hoping that when you see these videos you will get inspired and start your own recovery program so that uh, you will join society as an independent person as fast as possible. exercise for today uh, is uh, related to keeping the affected fingers uh, open or straight so that they can become useful in our daily life and uh, this is uh, what you will do so that you will be able to uh, keep your fingers open or to keep them soft also and straight so all you have to do is you place your uh, affected uh, finger over your palm here and then you hold it like this and then or you hold it like this your thumb will be over here and then you bend them like this okay so it shall be like that uh, so coming nearer it will appear like this then the next move is you can reverse it you hold uh, the palm the good palm will hold the uh, affected palm this way the thumb will be at the back and then you bend it like that right so from here you go into this one here all right so th this is how it is when it is on the side on the front side it will be like this okay so like that now for uh, you can also do this on the side part which is to bend the fingers like this so you again the palm the good palm will hold it here under here the thumb will be here as a leverage and then you bend the fingers like that there so if you can see it will be like this fronting you it will be like that when it is uh, uh, on your side pointing at you and the last one is so we did it uh, on three sides this time you have to do it also on uh, the uh, reverse side here so you hold the you hold the back of the uh, uh, weak fingers here put your palm underneath so it will be like that okay you adjust that go like that okay you grasp it and then you bend it like this there you can see okay so that's just how it goes right so from here do you go like that you go like this then you go going down or you can also go like that in a which way you like so that uh, the fingers will be kept straight now I don't know which part of your finger is the weakest uh, because uh, that depends on what uh, uh, nerve cells were affected in the brain so for me for example my ring finger and my small finger are the most affected the, mo the small finger is most affected it is not the as you can see they are not on level with these uh, two fingers here they should be like that but they are taking a little bit of time so how are you going to give them more emphasis when you try to bend them so that they will keep uh, or they will remain open so you have to favor the last two fingers so for example this one here instead of just doing like that I will favor these two fingers by going this way and then I will go that way so 
if it is uh, like that, or if this is the normal way for the four fingers to be bent, then what I will do is I will give more emphasis to this one here. So it's kind of uh, a curve here. You can see there. The same also when I go downstairs, I will also give more emphasis going this way. So it will be like that. There. Same when it's on the side. Same also when it is going upwards where I will have to give more lift on the small, uh, small fingers. I can do it like this or I can do it like that okay so that's the way to keep these fingers stay open so that they will be more functionable especially when we have to touch something or lift something it's better that the fingers are more open than they are closed because how can we hold something when the fingers are closed let me show you an example